What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another review video. And today I will take a closer look at this small Wi-Fi PTZ IP security camera from Boa Vision. Is it any good? Let's find out. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you might have seen my review I did last year of a similar mini PTZ IP camera from Boa Vision. However, there are some main differences between these two cameras. And the biggest one is probably that the camera I will review today doesn't have a very focal lens like the other one, which also makes this camera a bit cheaper. On the outside they are kind of similar, however the camera in today's video is a little bit smaller. So this camera actually have auto tracking, however it's not very useful since it can only pan and not tilt while tracking. And it will follow anything that moves, so not something I would recommend using to be honest. Image quality is like most cheap cameras I've tested in this price range. Not that impressive, but I think for normal surveillance it should be good enough. Just don't expect to identify a person from a distance. For any details you need to be really close to the camera. Overall I think it seems like a decent camera considering its low price and it might be worth checking out if you're looking for a cheap outdoor pan and tilt security camera. And at the moment when I record this video the camera is on sale on AliExpress and it sells for $27 but you can also buy it on Amazon for $48. And for full transparency to you guys, Boa Vision did send me this camera over for review. However, any opinions in this video are strictly my own based on my experiences testing this camera out. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So the camera uses a 2 megapixel sensor that records 1080p at 12 frames per second and it has a 3.6 mm lens with a viewing angle of 75 degrees. You can pan the camera 355 degrees and tilt it 90 degrees and it only has 4 times digital zoom. This camera works with an app called CamHi Pro and you will get instant push notifications to your smartphone whenever the camera detects motion. You can have it to record 24-7 or only when motion is detected to the SD card and then view the recorded footage directly in the app from playbacks and the camera supports up to 128GB micro SD card. And since it also supports Unvif you should be able to use it with most brands NVRs or software and I did connect it to Unvif device manager without any problems. It comes with a built-in speaker and a microphone so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how it sounds like when I talk through the camera. If you want you can also set a sound and light alarm when the camera detects motion to scare away any intruders. The camera has 6 white LEDs and 4 infrared LEDs so you can choose between 3 different night vision modes which are normal black and white infrared, full color which means the white LEDs are on all night and then we got smart night vision which means when the camera detects motion it will turn on the white LEDs and same as daytime the image quality isn't very good at night. The camera is made for outdoor use with an IP65 rating but I would recommend you place it under some kind of cover just to make sure it will last as long as possible. Okay, so what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, user manual, a network cable, small screwdriver and a bag with screws. So on the front of the camera we get the lens, 6 white LEDs, 4 infrared LEDs, light sensor and a microphone. And on the back we will find the speaker. To access the SD card slot we need to open up this cover. And the cables are network, power and reset. We can access the camera using Internet Explorer by typing the camera's IP address in the address bar of the browser. The default username and password is admin. In here we got all the camera settings and it's too much to go over one by one so I will just quickly show them to you. And you can pause the video at any time if it's too fast.
and to connect the camera to the app is really quick and easy. First we need to download and install the app from either Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app open and the camera is powered on, go to your phone's Wi-Fi list and select IP Cam. The default password is 01234567 and connect to it. Now click on the plus icon, then IP camera, device in use, search nearby devices and your camera should show up here. Select it and the default username and password is admin. Now when we are connected to the camera we just need to add our home Wi-Fi. So go to settings and then wireless setting and select your network and password and that's it. So here on the main screen we can record video, turn on and off audio, take a snapshot and talk through the camera. On the next page we got the PTZ controls and on the last one we can flip the screen, focus, set preset points, volume control, image adjustments, the different night vision modes and turn on the auto tracking. In the top right corner we will find all the settings. And same here, I will just quickly show them to you and you can pause the video at any time if there is a setting that you're more interested in. Ok let's have a look at some recordings, here we have daytime recorded in 1080p with audio turned on and here I am at around 10 meters from the camera and you can read the license plate but it's not very sharp. And here I move the camera using preset points. This is nighttime using infrared lights, however it's not in total darkness since there is a street light just across the street. And here I test the smart night vision, which means it will turn on the white LEDs when motion is detected. And some pan and tilt at night using preset points. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, why not hit that subscribe button, see you next time.